something from Mother Nature again today. If uh, you were out yesterday afternoon, repeat performance this afternoon. This is time lapse this morning. Temperatures at 5:30 were still at 85 degrees, and of course they dropped a little bit. Sun got to horizon and. Well, you know, we dropped down to about 80 degrees, and the warm up will now begin, and it'll be another big one. 76 right now in South Lake, 75 in Frisco, just pointing out some of the cooler temperatures on the map, 73 in Granbury. But most locations start in the 80s and a little bit of humidity out there, but the humidity will drop. This is a live shot from Glen Rose, 78 degrees in a calm wind, and the day has dawned there, and the temperatures will start to warm into the low 90s by 10 a.m., and by the noon hour, We'll probably be already at the century mark. This afternoon, forecasting a high of 108. Yes, that's a record high. That'll be the fourth day in a row of record highs at DFW. That excessive heat warning now has been extended till tomorrow. Of course, it isn't today for most of North Texas. Notice, though, in the northeast corner from Paris Sulphur Springs, we're talking about a heat advisory. That's one category lesser than a heat warning. And the advisory will spread a little bit further down towards the Metroplex and Rock Wall. Kaufman County and Collin County, Denton County wise, you'll be under advisory tomorrow, though the excessive heat warning will continue for both Dallas and Tarrant counties. What's going on? Well, we're going to have a little bit of high cloud cover streaming in from the north today, and that is coming from this weather pattern shift that is subtle but will affect us, and that the high pressure that's been sitting over us in the state of Texas is going to start moving off to the west and that opens up the door for things like this. Now this is a weak stationary front that will slowly drift its way towards us into North Texas and this this is relief for at least for the northeast counties for today. Today record heat for the metroplex. We'll have some cooler weather on the other side of the front really up by uh, Hopkins County and Lamar and up into Fanning. We have temperatures meanwhile 108 today but notice tomorrow take the edge off that heat a little bit. We're forecasting a high of 103, 104, not quite as hot, but still near record highs. But we will have a northeast wind. We'll have a little bit more in cloud cover. And then on Tuesday, we have the full benefits of this flow. The front will be all the way past us. We'll be in a second day of an east northeast wind, and temperatures probably won't even hit 100 degrees across the metro area, breaking our run of 100 degree days that will have then stretched nine days in a row. But there's that stationary front. And yeah, we're going to talk about these small rain chances. They are small, 10 to 20 percent by the time we get into early Tuesday, which is really Monday night into the overnight hours heading into Tuesday. There's that high pressure dome moving this way, kind of allowing this low pressure system that's over the south get a little bit closer in a northeast flow aloft. And that's going to really help the temperatures. Okay, a little bit, but we're not talking about record highs at least. There's our day of relief and temperatures in the 90s, then we're into triple digit highs again, but low hundreds and not much in rain chances.